Alright guys, um, I'm going to point out the issues with the controller, and first off, it's, it's a game, it's a controller from Game Crazy, so it's not, it's, it's let's say it's a fake, like a fake 360 controller, it's the cheaper version of it, and I'll show you why it was, this was, it was a hard time trying to get these to light up, these buttons, because of the wear, where the, the five volt um, the pinouts were were very difficult to get the wiring and that to fit and that because it was just really hard. So let's take I'm gonna take this apart and show you. That was so difficult. Okay. I think I still have to do some adjustments on the button. I have to like move the way I'll show you how I did it. You'll see how what I did. It's a lot different from others that did theirs. It's the only way I could do it. But it works. As you guys saw from the from the video when I was testing it out on GTA 4. And Here we go. Okay, torque. Okay, one more. out. Let's lift this off. Very easily. I'm actually going to fix that. One of my remote packs, the positive part, came off the controller. Okay. Alright, here we go. Okay. Alright. Now you guys can see, uh, you guys don't see the rubbers and that where they are. These are actually, I took some rubbers from my old Xbox controllers, the little, you can kind of see, they're the, the ones that, that go render it, I kind of super glued them on so they stay on there, so they won't move around, but look at the wiring, look how much different it is, if you guys, I'll probably post the picture up and then you guys will see the difference, the pinouts used to be like right here, for the, was it, was it the 5 volt? Five old pinouts? No, they're all the way over here, right under here, right under the right analog. And it was a hassle trying to just trying to you know organize the wiring and that to get this through. Like it was so bad that I had to cut the edges of each button, and I had to cut through this as well because uh, the one the part that holds the buttons in place. See, I cut. I, sh I shaved it down where the buttons go because the wiring was just it was in the way too much so I just cut those down it's fine it's still I and mean, the controller works I'm um, probably not going to do a mod on a game crazy controller again like this so I suggest don't try this this ABX Y mod on a game crazy controller because it was very difficult unless you want to challenge then it's up to you but it was a hassle, but I got it done. That's 
plug the uh, Xbox in here. That's when it starts. This is when it turns on. There we go. Okay. See, they light up. They still work. Everything works good. Turns on. It still works. Everything works fine. And that's about it, guys. Thank you for watching. This is Blazing Chaos.